Is there any concern within PKI that we may affect the relationship between the Indian community and PKI on how the issue is going to develop? Because she has, she's been released from detention, uh, but she still says that you know uh, the six months detention hasn't hasn't worked for her. She's still very much a Hindu, and she even says that she hates Islam now. So, what what do you think the authorities should do? Yeah, see, the, the, the principle, our, our principle is very clear that uh, the issue of freedom of conscience and freedom of religion is fundamental. Both in Islamic and Islam, there's no compulsion. Uh, and also in the uh, principles enshrined in the Constitution. But we also uh, acknowledge the fact that the, the procedures need to be respected. And in her case, the procedures had been respected. So I think then the, the Sharaikon need to be uh, uh, take cognizance of this fact and, and respect her final wishes. That is my view. Well, would it be also um, similar to the views of your uh, past uh, friends? No, I don't think there's much uh, difference here because the problem um, arose because of the media hype, particularly in the government control media. They give the impression that they encourage something that, you know, people rejoice, the fact that you highlight the uh, attempt to denigrate religions, or to encourage conversion out of Islam. So people resent that. But uh, in, in this case, I mean, you know, it's his or her own volition uh, needs to be respected. I mean, I think uh, generally, it's a general view. Uh, I have not seen past uh, position being quite inconsistent. Of course, there were some demands on uh, the issue of criminalizing and, and etc. But I think this is mainly the reaction to what is perceived. And I believe it's not only past. Generally, Muslims believe and perceive this manner that the whole issue of conversion has been blown out of proportion and uh, it is seen as encouraging Muslims to leave Islam, which is not the case to my mind. But this we need to uh, try. There have been, of course, the uh, issue of people leaving uh, PKR, okay? and of course, people have joined PKR. Do you have like a ratio of out of how many people leaving, how many have actually joined in the, in the ratio form? You saw the crowd tonight. You saw the few hundred new members we have recruited. So what is the issue? Here the issue of leaving party, I've mentioned in my speech, uh, Dr. On Jaffa, President Amno, second President Amno, Tukum Rahman, fourth President uh, Tunusi, all left Amno. Pass. The first President passed left, second President passed left. In our case, no president has left. Uh, but, but I think what is uh, important is to recognize there are some people, of course, but then uh, the, the, the basic principle, basic issue, uh, the agenda for reform continues. And the fact that uh, even insignificant mem members, or members who have left the party for the last six years, suddenly sprang up as national leaders leaving the party yesterday, which is a blatant lie. Uh, I know for a fact, like in Penang, uh, they, they were defeated in the democratic elections in the last two years. Uh, they couldn't accept that. Uh, or in Qatar, where they were technically bankrupt, but this was highlighted. Or people who does not agree with us because of our position, which they think on, on, on issue of conversion, or on, on uh, Islamic State, or on issue of um, the new economic policy. And I think uh, overall, um, the, the party is intact. I've been I've met people in Kedah, in Penang, today in Kelantan. There is no, absolutely no change. There's not one single present leadership that left the party. I'm talking about present. Yes, in the past, yes, people come and go. I mean, I, and I wish them well. I mean, it's not my interest to cast aspersions or uh, I And I think they, they have uh, every right to decide for themselves.